In this video, we will describe what load balancers in Kubernetes are, what Metal LB is, and how it works. One of my colleagues, David Reda, will then follow up with a live demonstration showcasing how to configure and deploy Metal LB to a RAFE provisioned upstream Kubernetes cluster operating in a virtual machine based environment. In Kubernetes, a load balancer service is perhaps the easiest and the most common way to expose a service outside of the cluster. Although public clouds provide seamless integrations with their native load balancer services, there is not a general solution available for Kubernetes clusters on bare metal and VM-based environments. A large portion of Rafi customers deploy and operate Kubernetes clusters in bare metal and VM-based environments. We assist them with the configuration and usage of Metal LB as a load balancer on their clusters. Metal LB is a popular load balancer solution for bare metal and VM-based clusters. It operates fully inside Kubernetes and comprises two core components. A Kubernetes cluster-wide controller that handles IP address assignments. It watches for load balancer service resources, uses configuration supplied in a config map to allocate and write back IP addresses from a dedicated pool for new services. It maintains a leader node for each service and depending on the working mode, advertises it via BGP or ARP protocols. The second component of Metal LB on the Kubernetes cluster is a Kubernetes daemon set called Speaker. This essentially speaks a protocol of your choice to make the services reachable. Metal LB supports two network modes. In the layer two mode, one node in the cluster takes ownership of the service. It uses standard address discovery protocols such as ARP to make IPs reachable on the local network. The use of ARP requires each node to be in a single layer two network, AKA subnet. In the layer three mode, nodes in the cluster establish BGP peering sessions with nearby routers. These then inform them how to forward traffic to the service IP. And now it's time to move on to the demo. David will be showcasing the following using the RAFE controller. He will first create and configure a version controlled cluster blueprint with a Metal LB add-on. He will then deploy it to a VM-based Kubernetes cluster that was previously provisioned and centrally managed using the RAFI console. Finally, he will configure and deploy a workload configured to use a load balancer service on Kubernetes. Hello, welcome. My name is David Retta and I'm a solutions architect at Rafe Systems. In this demo, we're going to deploy a load balancer using Metal LB to an on-premise single node Kubernetes cluster. In this case, the cluster is running on an Ubuntu VM using VirtualBox on my MacBook. Let's get started. The Metal LB controller manifest uses a default namespace of Metal LB system, so we'll use the same for the sake of this demo. We'll configure that as well as the pod security policy and create the namespace. Now let's get started creating our add-ons. Our add-ons will make up our blueprint, which we will apply to our cluster later. The first add-on we will create is the Metal LB controller. We have downloaded a YAML manifest from the Metal LB website, so we will use that as a type, as well as assigning it to the Metal LB system namespace. We'll set the version of the new add-on to v0.9.5 and upload the YAML manifest that we have previously downloaded from the Metal LB website. The second add-on that will make up our Metal LB blueprint will be the config map. We will create a new add-on called Metal LB config map, which will be also of type YAML. We will associate that to the Metal LB system namespace as well. We will set the version to 1.0 and upload the appropriate YAML manifest that we have previously created. The YAML manifest consists of a config map that identifies the namespace of the resource and the configuration of the controller and how it should operate in our deployment. We will do the same for the secret. 
Now that we have created our three add-ons, let's go ahead and create the blueprint. We will create a new blueprint, which we will call Metal LB Blueprint. It will be composed of the three add-ons we previously created. As we've done with the add-ons, we will create a new version of the blueprint, which you will call version 1.0. Once we have done that, we'll set the pod security policies to cluster scoped. From there, we'll start to add on each individual add-on. We'll start by adding the controller add-on and its corresponding version. Following the controller will be the config map and its appropriate version, and lastly, the secret add-on. The three add-ons will comprise the blueprint. The blueprint can be used on any cluster managed by Rafe to bring it up to a desired state. Blueprints can be version controlled and applied organization-wide, making them a useful feature to quickly deploy add-ons at scale. We will select the Update Blueprint option for the cluster and assign the newly created blueprint to the cluster. Once we have done this, we'll save and publish. Once the blueprint has successfully synced to the cluster, we will be able to move forward and deploy our application. To deploy the new workload, we will select the Workloads option underneath the Applications tab. From there, we will select the new workload option and enter a new workload name. For this demo, we will use Metal LB nginx we will set the package type to KAS YAML and assign it to the demo namespace that we created previously. We will now need to upload the deployment manifest to our workload. We will upload the YAML file containing our Kubernetes resource definitions. A deployment and service definition is defined in the manifest. From there, we will select the placement policy and clusters of choice to deploy. We can then publish the workload. Depending on the size of the workload, it could take a few minutes to publish to the cluster. Navigate to the cluster section under the infrastructure tab. From there, we will select the cluster's kubectl option to gain access to the CLI of the cluster. We will run the git services command on the namespace where we have deployed the workload. The kubectl command will return the external IP address given to the service by the load balance controller. An IP of 10.0.2.240 has been assigned to the Nginx service. I'm using a NAT network, so a port forwarding rule has been configured to forward all traffic on localhost port 46,666 to the external IP and port of the load balancer service. Using Chrome, we can navigate to the Nginx web page, verifying that the load balancer has been successfully deployed. Thank you for your time and hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on deploying the Metal LB load balancer.